maybe it'll at least help you with some of the things you have that are just a little bit off. This is a quick tip on how to hand align layers in GIMP more easily. This will not help you with layers that are at different zooms, rotations, or otherwise out of alignment, but things that are just off due to vertical or horizontal issues, this is a really easy trick to fix the problem. Go to your opacity up here, and ideally you want to select this number and type 50. You see we've got three layers here, and I've set the top layer to 50%. So we're going to align this layer to that layer by going to Colors and Invert. Notice how much of this image has turned gray. What's going on is that when you mix an inversion of a picture with itself at 50% opacity, you will get middle gray. In fact, we can confirm this by duplicating the layer, inverting the colors back, and then setting one of the layers back to 100%. Oh look, you get middle gray. I'm going to undo all that. Well, let me show you. Zoom in to something with a large amount of detail at the pixel level, like the words here on this memorial. Take your Move tool, which you can hit M on your keyboard to access, grab the layer, and move it until you see the least amount of embossing effect. Once the amount of detail that's visible is minimized, when it's as flat looking as possible, you've got it as aligned as it's going to get. Now notice you still see some and that's because these are at different exposures. So you're still going to see a little bit of detail in this layer here since they're not technically identical pictures. Another issue with these pictures, and they're probably not the best candidates for this, the leaves are not aligned. The center features are aligned. The actual memorial itself, they're pretty much in line with each other to where we can use this trick, but the leaves look bizarre whenever we do this. So this image, if I just wanted to cut out the middle, it would be great. Um, otherwise, you would have to do some additional tweaking to try and get them to match up. But for, like I said, horizontal and vertical matching, this is great. So we'll turn the opacity back to 100 for that layer and change it back to normal color with invert. And now those layers are aligned. So let's align this layer, this bottom layer, with the middle layer we just aligned the top one here to. Again, the topmost layer here will change the opacity to exactly 50 and invert its color and you see it flatten out. They're probably pretty close because you don't see any embossing effect on this gravestone. It's not a gravestone, it's a memorial, I'm sorry, but it's etched the same way. Well, let's move it just for fun. So yeah, there's a lot of embossing appearing when I move it. So let's get it back to where we see as little detail as possible. That's about as good as it's going to get. So it probably was already aligned with that other picture. The other test we can do is, are these two aligned? Well, they look like they're pretty close. Um, they may be off by a small amount, but let's go ahead and, and fix this layer back up to be the way it's supposed to be. And let's do one little check here. Yeah, they, that probably can't be made any better. Now, I did a tutorial about HDR photography. I'm actually not going to use this bottom one. Um, I'll use these two because this is the bright one and this is the dark one. You can go watch my full tutorial elsewhere on the channel. But it basically me entails making a layer mask that's a grayscale copy of the layer. Then using the levels tool to change the way that the layers get mixed together. Um, obviously, if you push these in certain directions, one layer or the other gets revealed. You can also control the amount of any given layer by restricting its output. And the layer mask here. What we're going to probably do 
is to get some of the dark features in here we can do this but then we can bring this up yeah. and that looks pretty neat so before looks like this for reference this is probably the best exposed image so before the bright one looks like this the dark one looks like this and let me turn the mask back on um, if you mix the dark one in you get this now you notice you have a lot more of the rain damage visible because we have increased the amount of dark features visible over the light layer um, before that we would have only seen that uh, we would have had to tweak the contrast on our own so you can do an HDR photo this way but my primary purpose was just to show you how to align these layers um, go watch my HDR in GIMP tutorial if you're interested in figuring out how to do HDR photos in GIMP and hopefully this alignment will if it does not patch up all the photos that you manage to take handheld like this one maybe it'll at least help you with some of the things you have that are just a little bit off and need to be encouraged to be closer together before you do any further processing I hope this helps and thanks for watching have a good day and happy gimping come to think of it I probably should never say that again bye bye yeah.